Hello, so welcome back to Muckman Movies. This is going to be another live unboxing and it's the latest Radiance films. So I've got a nice little box of films to unopen here. Stay tuned after this. Right, yeah, so this is the latest Radiance films. I bought the bundle again this month because it's just a bit cheaper if you do that. Um, and one of these films I'd never even heard of from last year. Um, so it'll be intriguing to see what that one's all about. Um, but yeah, here's the box. So let's open it up. <coughs> it's usually nicely protected got these nice pillow bubble wrap let's get rid of the box here we are nice radiance bundle they really are knocking it out of the park with a lot of films that we've not heard of as well so like yeah So the first film is, and I'll try and pronounce this right, but I'll probably fail miserably. Um, it's called uh, Trenke Le Quen. I'm hoping I've pronounced that right. Probably haven't though. So there you go. And this just sounded intriguing when I read the synopsis. It's basically... Um, about this woman called, I believe she's called Laura. Um, she goes missing and two of her ex-partners, or one of her ex-partners and a colleague, they go to where she lives to try and track her down and find out, you know, her backstory and where she's vanished to. Um, sounded quite interesting, very intriguing. So I'll open this one up. Let's take, let's take that little, uh, I can't remember what they call those, but like, take that out. So there you go. So this is a bit of a unknown quantity. Never heard of it. It's directed by, I believe, a woman called Laura Citarella. Uh, for, and this film's from 2022, and it's 139 minutes long. So that'll be interesting. It's the inside. As usual, as usual with uh, limited editions, it comes with a nice booklet. A few essays, some screenshots. So uh, that'll be interesting when I get to it. So that was the one that I wasn't massively um, sure about, but due to the bun bundle deal, it was definitely worth picking once I'd read the synopsis. Right, the next one is the Shinobi Trilogy. Um, I love martial art films from, uh, you know, from Asia and Japan. Um, where's... Where's Mr. Stanley? There he is. So let's open this one up. Very carefully. Again, they have these little pieces of paper with the synopsis and the special features on there. So that's the front cover. The spine and the back cover. So the first film's Band of Assassins. The second film is called Revenge, and the third film is called Resurrection. So the two films. 
So there must be the two films in one of these cases. So Band of Assassins and Revenge. And on the inside, you've got the booklet. Again, lots of essays to read up on when I've got a bit of time. Then that's the inside. Not doing very well today. Like, <laughs> can't see what I'm showing you. But there you go. So that's the first two films on one disc. So it can't be very long if they're both on one disc. <clears throat> Let's have a look. So 104 minutes, 93 minutes and 86 minutes. So that's the first two. And then Resurrection. That's the final part. And that comes with some art cards. Let's see if I can get these out. I always struggle getting this paper ribbon off. Sure, everyone else is in the same boat. There you go. There you have it. Yeah, like I say, I really enjoy all the old samurai and ninja films. Um, I just have so much fun with them. Eureka released an amazing film that I'd never heard of. That was called Revenge as well. So hopefully this Revenge lives up to the Eureka one. Um, we'll soon find out. I'll definitely be tackling these in the not so distant future. And that's the disc. So that's the Shinobi box set, which is very nice. And then this was the film I was the most eager picking up. I need to be very careful here. And it's um, a film by Mario Bava, who's more famous for his gialli horror films, um, particularly, um, what's it called now? Uh, Blood and Black Lace. Yeah, I love that film. It's Highly stylish, um, so colourful um, and bloody. It's really great gialli. So if you've not seen Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace, definitely worth picking that up on Arrow, I believe. Um, but uh, Radiance have released Planet of the Vampires. So this is almost similar in style. It's amazing, like imagery and like the style. It's not. Hopefully it's not style over substance. I've not seen this. Uh, one of my friends has. He says it's really good, which prompted me to pick it up. So I'll take that little piece of paper off. I mean, look at the artwork on that. That's amazing. That's the spine. That's the back. The set designs and the costume designs sold it to me when I watched the trailer. I was like, yeah, definitely picking that up. It's a bit of a squeeze though, this comes with a comprehensive booklet, I mean, it's pretty thick is that one. <clears throat> so there's lots of essays again. Some artwork showing the old posters. Yeah, and some, some nice nice imagery there. He loves red in his films. It's always saturated in red, so yeah, it looks definitely up my street is this one. So that's the booklet and the box. Then in on the Amore case. Try and get rid of the glare. You're again treated to some more art cards and a poster. I didn't realise there was a poster in this. That's the inside. 
Oh no, it's not a post, it's a little another little booklet. Uh, what was this? One night of twenty one hours. It sounds like it's maybe the script, maybe. I need to have a little bit of a read of that. So it's just like Lots of text in there, I presume it's the script. And then more art guards. The dog's coming in again. She can hear me talking, thinking someone else is up here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and there's the art guards. Oh, these are nice. These would look good framed. Yeah, that's the art cards. So there you have it. That's my recent Radiance pickups. Um, they've only just come out today, I believe. Um, well, I ordered them from Radiance, so they came a bit earlier than other people's. Um, but yeah, um, if you fancy picking those up, head over to Radiance. I'm sure they've still got some in stock. And since Hadley's here, I'll. Say hello, Hadley. Who's that? Who's that there? There you go. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for watching and goodbye.